widowed, loss of a child, suicide, homicide, dementia, old age, and cancer. That truly sounds like a lifetime of suffering that's far more than one person can bear, but that's my story. About four and a half years ago, I found out that my husband of 15 years and the father of my six children was abruptly killed in a parachute training accident. I became a 33-year-old widow with six children. We tried to make sense of it. We tried to make meaning out of our suffering. But 13 months after my husband passed away, I lost the youngest of my six children in a drowning accident. My sweet little Lila, the laughter, the joy in the house became quiet for a little while. Six months later, my brother took his own life after struggling with a long battle of addiction and depression. And we wrestled to make sense of that. It's, it's hard to accept that somebody could be at that point, that they make a decision like that. What's even harder to accept is that sometimes we suffer from the consequences of other people's choices when 11 months later, the youngest of my six siblings was actually murdered in a quadruple homicide. We had to battle forgiveness and wrestle with understanding how someone could take such liberty with somebody else's life. But at the end of the day, I would sit with my kids and I would say, it's okay, because God is good, and God is good at being God. And there was peace in believing that somehow, some way, someday, He would use that loss and that suffering and that pain for a purpose. But I can honestly say, that there has been a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding that has carried me through those five years in a way that is absolutely indescribable. You see, I had to hold on to that peace unwaveringly that I don't have to know how all of it unfolds. I have to know who's writing the story. And that is where my peace comes from. To know God truly is to know peace.